tonight's Those Who Serve, a huge honor for a World War II veteran more than 75 years after his dangerous mission to the beaches of France. A representative from the French government traveling all the way to Gold Canyon in the Far East Valley today to honor Army veteran Garland James. Our cameras were there. We are truly grateful for the way you faced your destiny as it has required incredible courage, a strong sense of duty, and of self-sacrifice. And with that, French Ambassador Philippe Etienne awarded Garland James with the French Legion of Honor Medal for his distinguished service on the shores of France during World War II. That's a nice one. Corporal Garland James, now 100 years old, served with the Army's 82nd Airborne Division Field Hospital, even landing in Normandy on D-Day. I took care of the wounded. I hauled my colonel around and the nurses. I liked them nurses. <laughs> His job was transporting the wounded to the field hospitals located not far away from the front lines. Sadly, and all too often, he also transported the dead with his jeep or ambulance. What really impressed him, though, was seeing General Dwight D. Eisenhower near the front lines. Pretty good when the commander's right in there and when the Germans only pushed back three miles. Corporal Garland served three years and says he's proud of his service. Well, that meant a lot to me. And we thank him for his service. At 100 years old, Garland still drives to his favorite breakfast joint every day in Apache Junction. And 12 News is honoring the courage, dedication, and sacrifice of those in our armed forces. And we love sharing the stories and photographs of the veterans that are closest to you. If you'd like to submit your Those Who Serve stories and photos for a chance to be featured on the air, just go to 12news.com slash those who serve.